Okay, we are here with the Demolition Cannon, and while it's called a cannon, it's more of a grenade launcher. Now we are here in the beautiful and mildly spooky Dead Shores, and when I first got to start playing with this, it just made me giggle with glee with how just crazy this thing is. As you can see, this is the fully upgraded version. It's got about a four meter radius blaster. Now, you can actually do pretty good long range. It takes a bit of practice to hit targets at range, but it still works. Now, it is really good for clusters of enemies. It does have some flaws though that you probably should look out for. Now, I have tested a few things. Number one, it does work with the ranged variant suit. Now, that means that, as you can see, it does glow. That is being picked up by the suit's ability to actually make my ammunition glow. The extra pickup works. As such, when you add this to a ranged weapon model, it actually can pair very well. Now, for traps on the floor, it's not too hard. You just have to bounce it roll it into as you can see it really just wiped out this entire 3x3 grid of impalers as for traps on the walls because it has to bounce before it detonates you can either do where you bounce it off of a wall or you can aim slightly above it so that it bounces down Now this is, of course, way easier with the larger blast radius model. Now, when you deal with things like singular traps on the wall, such as this simulated plasma sentinel, you know, you still have to do certain ways of doing it. Now, you can bounce off like that. See how if it bounces off two walls, it kind of gets stuck, making it a little bit easier to hit. Now, things on roofs, is much more difficult you can get up you can still hit them but as you can see even close in shots are much more difficult you know even at point blank I can't hit it there as well now in a closed in space like a normal hallway I can generally bounce it off of a wall to take that out but if these were plasma sentinels on the roof shooting down, it would be an absolute pain to take those out. So always be thinking of that when you're firing. Now, next question's up. Can it friendly fire? Yes. It will kill you. It will kill your teammate. These will bounce off of your teammates to my surprise when it bounced off my teammate's hat earlier today and blew me up. Now... The ammunition actually does interact with the world, as you can see. It will blow up and then roll down. So if you can fire these in a way that they cause that, but also be worried about players who figure this out, they will have ways to steal your ammunition from you. Because these things don't stick in the wall, they are easier to grab if the person is paying attention. So always be thinking of that when you're going for it. Now, can you take out flying enemies? Well, I've got this little flyer that's about to come out. As you can see, he sees me. Now, he's, this one isn't super dangerous because he's by himself, but if I bounce, I can still take him out. Now, I can also, I've managed to hit them a few times, but they were generally much closer to me. It will bounce off of them and still detonate. So it's possible, but if you're going to go up against a bunch of flyers, I'd probably bring the light crossbow and just take them out with that instead. That said, really fun weapon. It is a big change for a lot of designs because a lot of those designs was all about trying to jam as many traps into a small area as possible. We had grenades, but those grenades were limited. The fact that I can just keep shooting this thing and recovering my ammo is 
especially if I brought the shield generator, I can jump in, jump out. And then fire again. The warmonger rushes that we had to worry about because we could not take them out. This thing just unloads into them now. Especially the maximum size on this. It is just dangerous. And with that, I hope this makes you decide if you want to use this weapon and gives you a little bit of information on it. And I hope you'll have a great time in the wasteland and enjoying the, well, quite dreary scenery that is Meet Your Maker.